All right, good afternoon, everybody. How's it going today? So today's date is now November the 2nd, and I'm back in the office for just a little bit today because I'm kind of settling in right now. And um, it's gonna take me about a day to settle in, to be quite honest, because my lady just came over and she's gonna be here for about two months with me. So gotta get a little bit adjusted, then uh, we'll go from there. But let's take a look at the market. So I'll be updating both the elite group and the premium group here right now. And first thing is important to go over how the market has been trending. So Bitcoin 100% got rejected at this $72,000 region. Let's summarize how this has been going so far on the four day chart and talk about how this has been in a channel. So make sure you guys are staying up to date because right now I believe that we have broken out already and a massive bull market is about to begin. And if you don't put in this kind of effort now, you're going to miss out on one of the largest bull markets that you will ever see. So it's important to stay focused and pay attention. My lady and I do not plan to go really anywhere. We have no travel plans this November or December. The only plans that we have is to work with the Discord group to day trade, to try to make as much money as possible because during these moments, guys, you need to understand that this next year, potentially, the work that you put in in one year in crypto, it could potentially, you could potentially make way more money in this one year than who knows, your whole life combined even. So it makes a lot of sense to put in this effort now while you can, right? Because if it passes by and you miss out on it, you're gonna feel like horrible about it. So stay with me guys till the very end of this video. I'm gonna update you in such a clear and concise way. So we broke out of here first of all. There's been many different types of very bullish candles that have been supported. Here's one bullish candle, a hammer. Here's a kind of another dragonfly doji. This is a beautiful candle. Every time we get these types of candles, it's very bullish. These candles right here, see the hammer? the doji, the dragonfly doji, we finally break out of that massive 215 day resistance, okay? That's a long time. That's seven months where it held. And then of course, naturally, since we broke out of it, we were gonna probably test somewhere between the all time high, you know, like at 74K ish to probably the high here. So we're like sandwiched in between, you know, the high, the high there and possibly the, there as well. So we got this range that's kind of between, you know, like this this high here, wherever it was, 70K. So you got you got this resistance here between 70K to 70, you know, 78,800 or 70, 73,800. So this is a resistance range, as you can see. And unfortunately, it's it might take a while to break out of it, but I still believe that we're gonna get a massive all-time high somewhere. So this needs to be understood. There's even the possibility that we're gonna retest down over here again to 64, 65K. But the next major support is kind of around this area. See the blue line that I drew for you? The reason why it's a strong possibility of a support is because of this resistance and also this guy right there. But there's still a chance that we could get to these regions over here, which is basically still above the channel. As long as we stay above this channel, we hold, it's going to be a very bullish Q4. And, and I think that we're gonna get into some very, very nice prices for Bitcoin, possibly to even $100,000 before the end of the year. So this is important to understand, right? The next thing we're gonna go over is the break of the chandelier exit indicator, okay? This is beautiful. Please, please know that over here, this is where the ETF by BlackRock and I've gone over this several times, the SEC suggested to BlackRock to appeal it and, and make some changes so they would get approved. That's why we started this massive rally of 287 days, which is about nine months, nine and a half months. So then ever since then, we've been rallying for nine and a half months based off of the volatility indicator. So because of that, you can see that eventually there's gonna be a change in a rhythm. And we break from green to red where there's a resistance. But guess what? The red only stayed bearish for less than three months. And now we're green again. The volatility has changed, which is very good news. And if you take a look back in history, you'll see that it's broken many times. It goes from red to green, red to green, until we end up getting into some major all-time highs. 
So don't be discouraged just because we broke a little bit bearish for a short time. And right now I need to firmly make you understand that you're never going to catch the dip, the bottom at the exact place you want to get in. So the best strategy to actually employ would be to dollar cost average. This is going to ensure that you buy in small amounts every single week to make sure you're staying in the game because an, an immediate rally is likely to happen sometime this year. And you don't want to be left out and not be in any position at all because you tried too hard to wait for a dip to occur that actually never came. So it's better to DCA rather than to hope to get the best prices for an entry. That's never going to happen. And the people that stay in this game, they're the ones that are going to ultimately make the most profit. And if you're following me, you're going to know when to also exit this market because I believe I'm very in tune with this market. I follow it every single day and I'm going to help you time and exit because that's incredibly important. So let's just keep taking a look at how BTC is trending right now. So based off of price action, we're seeing that there is a trend line that has been holding now for about three months. So provided we stay above here, that would be wonderful news. So by the end of the year, I really hope that this trend line holds well enough for us to break into all time highs. This is what I'm referring to right here. You know, I decided to actually just end up uploading this to YouTube. So everybody's got access to this because it's going to take a, a little bit of, of time for me to settle back into the new place and get a really good routine going. So for those that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Philicon Crypto and I've been in the crypto space now for about nine years. And I've seen two major bull markets, two major bear markets. And uh, I'm going to help you navigate through this third potential bull market that could potentially change your life. And if you got into the last bull market because you heard of how well Bitcoin was doing, but you didn't do that well in it, well, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to give you the best advice and help you navigate through this perilous journey. And the thing about crypto is there's a huge potential to make a huge amount of capital, but there's also a huge potential with major downside risks as well. Therefore, you must be more educated than the normal people out there. So if you guys want to get some of the best advice for both trading and also investing from somebody in the game for nine years, there's a link to my Discord group below. Just join it. It's 35 bucks a month to join. It's got a community of professionals and like-minded individuals that also want to succeed. But more importantly, just spending a few months with me with the amount of resources in there, you're going to learn more in three, four months than anywhere else out there. I mean, if you check out the Discord group, it's got so much content. It's got questions and answers. It's got short lessons, long lessons, live trading. You can contact me pretty much anytime. Not only that, there's my elite tier trading group as well, where whenever I'm day trading, I'm always going to count and, and also tell everybody my position. I'm going to list my positions before I enter, narrate it while I'm in the position as well. I'm also going to basically live trade. And that is where you want to be. Every month I allow five people to join, then that's it. Just five people can join my elite tier group. So get on it guys. It's a great place to be. So I'm really hoping that based off of just technical analysis and price action that we end up holding. So just to summarize this, we got rejected first of all at around the all time high ranges. We got rejected $73,660. But the good news is that we made an attempt to break to the upside. So because we made an attempt, I believe it can happen again. So this is a very good sign. And also the elections is literally just in three days. So I'm very excited about that. Interest rate cuts are also being made as well. People are going to have more borrowing power to inject money and infuse capital into the market. Right now, the amount of ETF inflows is massive. So people are buying a tremendous amount. Institutions are gobbling up Bitcoin right now. The amount of wallets that exceed 100 Bitcoins is growing every single day as well. So there's a massive interest in crypto and we have to believe what we are seeing, which is how large institutions and banks are not going to let Bitcoin fall. So I believe that right now it's just an accumulation period. That is why we're seeing massive Bitcoin dominance go to the upside. In the last bull market, what we saw was we saw that the dominance went up to about 72% roughly. So right now we're just seeing it soar to the upside. And the narrative is simple. Whenever there's a large drop in Bitcoin dominance, 
there is a massive, this is the same drop right here. So if I were to juxtapose and put two charts side by side, the Bitcoin dominance and the total three, down over here, okay, right here, you can also see it on the side here, it doesn't matter. Right here is where the Bitcoin dominance started to reach a bottom in May. But if you look on the right side, right here is actually where the altcoin season started to begin. So people were accumulating here, and then the total three market cap goes up by 180 or 90% or so, and then we start the altcoin season. So when the Bitcoin dominance gets to a certain amount, it eventually drops, and then people take their profits, their, their realized profits from the Bitcoin going to the upside, and then they start infusing it into altcoins. And that is what truly fuels the altcoin market from what we've seen for a long time now. So if we just take a look at other charts as well over here, I'm just gonna show you guys the monthly returns table and also the year to date ROI, okay? And also ROI after having. So if we take a look at the bull market years so far, sorry, the pre-bull market years. So the year before the bull market reached the top, which would have been 2012, or we'll just start with 2016, okay? Actually, we'll look at 2012, 2016, and 2020. What you're gonna see is that in 2012, November and December is bullish. 2016, November, December is bullish. 2020, November, December is bullish. Actually, 2016 and 2020, you'll notice that October, November, and December was bullish. So right now, we've had September and October a bullish month already. So there's a good chance, since every single November and December have been bullish the years before the bull market kicks off, there's a good chance that we're going to be bullish as well. That makes sense, right? So if we take a look at the year-to-date ROI after the halving, we're going to see that we're just in the baby phases right now. So we've got to remember why the Bitcoin halving occurs. It's to control the supply. It's to fight inflation. So once the block reward gets halved, the supply is lowered, but the demand ends up skyrocketing. And basic economics for supply and demand says that if the supply is lower, but the demand is higher, then the price is going to increase. Very simple. And right now, many people are worrying, but if you take a look at the ROI after having chart right now, you're going to see that we're just in the baby phases. So give this some time to see how it's going to come to fruition rather than worry. Focus on the dollar cost averaging. Yes, maybe some of the alts could go a little bit lower before it makes some massive gains. But one thing we've got to take a look at, guys, is this, okay? We got to take, for example, some of the coins that I'm holding in my portfolio right now. If you take a look at it on the weekly, what you're going to see if, is that they've had some major drawdowns. I will not get into the fundamentals of why I hold these coins, but I'm going to show you how much of a drawdown there has been just on the monthly chart, for example, like Polkadot. Look at this drawdown. There's It doesn't take much for it to move a gigantic amount because we are so low already. If you take a look at Solana, it's just trying to break like the 180, 200 ranges as well. It's been congested here almost after, since after the beginning of the year. You see how Near as well might reach a bottom potentially sometime soon again. You see Matic has dropped significantly, right? Manta is one of my more favorite coins to be holding as well because there's some massive potential. Just look at the drawdown for all of them. So if you take a look at the market, a lot of these coins have fallen down a tremendous amount. They're reaching support zones. You know, if you bought, for example, Beam, Beam is already up like 100%. It's a significant amount. So you can see that these coins have had large drawdowns. So even if they drop a little bit lower, it doesn't take much for the market to go to the upside it's for us to make some massive gains. I mean, some coins like Superverse are holding incredibly well. And then there's Tau as well, which I really like Tau. Okay, and then there's Render, one of my favorite coins to be holding. You just take a look at the drawdown. These guys have fallen down like 70, 80% already. I also love FET. FET fell down a total of 80%. Like ArcM as well. These coins all look like they're either reaching a support or there's a little bit more to drop to the downside and then a massive rally occurs. So if you keep waiting forever, you may never get in at the best prices. So my best advice to everybody out there, 
is like it's what I do. Dollar cost averaging is the way to go around this season. So I'm gonna end the video here at 15 minutes. I wanted to thank everybody for watching this video and to support me. All you've gotta do is just hit the like and the thumbs up button and I'll be here to update you much more often. And for those that are interested in joining my normal Discord group, it's 35 bucks a month, come join it guys. There's a seven day trial just to see how you actually like it. So if you like it, stay in the group with me. And for those that are wanting to live day trade with me where I trade position sizes between about 100,000 to about half of a million where you get to see everything that I trade and learn with me to join my elite group, there's five slots available to join for November and I'll see you in the group and I'll see you another day. Bye now, take care.